Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my wife and I, we wanted some new chairs for our patio. So what I did was I went straight to my computer and I came up with a design that I thought I would like. And I went to the hardware store and I picked up a sheet of OSB plywood and I cut it out on my CNC router. I put it together to see if I would like it. First prototype, it was all right. I made some changes. I made a second prototype out of some scrap MDF that I had because I didn't want to go back to the hardware store and spend another $56 on OSB. And I made that prototype and we were happy with that. So then I decided to go straight ahead and make it out of a product called HDPE. HDPE, or also known as high density polyethylene, is a great product for outdoor furniture. It's heavy, it won't blow away in the wind, it can withstand extreme temperatures. Now one of the best parts about this is I essentially will have no waste when I'm done with this. Nothing will go to the landfill because all my scraps, even the shavings out of my dust collector, will go back to the manufacturer where they'll recycle that into more HDPE sheets. And speaking of waste, I designed this chair so that I could get two of them out of a four by eight sheet of HDPE. If you wanna make these chairs for yourself, you can. I'm gonna offer you guys the SVG file for this. Um, you can go to the link in the description to my Etsy page where you could purchase them. So now that we have everything cut, the mess is cleaned up, we're gonna add a quarter inch round over to everything here. And we're gonna do that on the router table. Router table is the easiest way to do this, the quickest and most efficient way. So let's head over there and start making another mess. So now it's time for the fun part. We get to assemble this and then finally sit in it. Now I made a variety of different jigs to assemble this so that I don't have to measure anything. I did this because I plan to mass produce these chairs and I'm expecting in the springtime I'm gonna be busy whipping these things out. So I need jigs that can help me put these together quickly and efficiently. So the one here I have is for assembling the back this is for a back support that attaches to the seat. Um, this here is just a jig to help me hold the chair up as I am assembling it so it's not flopping around and falling down on me. Kind of like me on New Year's. And just a variety of different spacer blocks. So the first jig I have here is just this little block with a hole that's in the center so that I can drill a hole in the end of this back support piece so that I can follow up with a bigger drill bit to put this threaded insert in. That's gonna hold the armrest as well as the boards for the back of the seat. And that's deep enough. And I'm just gonna put it in so that it's just below that surface there. It's way easier to do this now than when it's all put together. Next, we're gonna use the jig that took me the most time to make and I'm the most proud of it because there's no math now. It's just drop things in place, screw it together. Now, one thing that I always have to remember is that I need to put my countersink screw holes down and the one edge has got a slight angle to it. So that goes on the outside. This one goes here. And you can see I already have spacers in here. It goes in there like that. Make sure it's all tight to that end, which it's not because I got some sh shavings in there. back support that we just drilled the holes into, it just slips in there like that. Now we just got to drill some holes and countersink them. And I'm just using a two inch stainless steel screw.
Next, we need to add this guy right there. And for that, we have a spacer block and a spacer block and a spacer block. And that keeps it centered. Same dealio, countersink, six stainless steel screws into there. Next, we need to add this piece underneath here. And to keep that in the right location and keep it centered, I made this jig here and it just scoots underneath there. Most important thing is that this is even with the bottom and your spacing here is the same. And it looks pretty darn good. And we're going to pre-drill these holes for some inch and a half stainless steel screws. Now before I get carried away, these blocks will go in here like this. And this is what ties the armrest to the front legs. And this screw and that screw are really hard to get at when you have um, the side pieces on because it kind of covers it a little bit. So I'm going to pre-drill these holes right now for one inch screws. These blocks go in there. So we gotta add a two inch screw in here and an inch and a half screw down here somewhere. Now these leg pieces, we're going to work on them right now. And we have some blocks that we have to put in here. They go in there like this and like that. Next, we're gonna use this jig here to attach our back and it just slides in there like that it just helps to hold it up right this one slides in there so we just drop it in that spot there the hole smack her in with a mallet Now we just need to slide the whole jig around. Now with the jig scooted back a little bit, we can attach a leg. And that's getting fastened just with a washer, a lock nut, and a nut. And by the way, all the hardware being used on this is all stainless steel. And we're in the home stretch. Just gotta put the armrests on. And there you have it, a chair made from HDPE. And it's a very sturdy chair and it's super comfortable. So if you like this video and you enjoyed it, uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one. Whew. I'm gonna take a nap.